How's it going everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we are testing out the Acastle Brave 7. It is a 4K 30 frames per second IPX8 33 feet waterproof camera without the need of a waterproof case. It has electronic image stabilization. It is a 20 megapixel vlog camera. It has a rear touch screen display. and also has a front color display. Hold down the bottom arrow to change from the rear display to the front display and back to the rear display again. Now the build quality is simply heavy duty. All of the buttons are very nice. The SD card bay and the USB-C port bay is really nicely made, as well as the battery bay as well. The buttons on the top, heavy duty. Buttons on the side, heavy duty. So it is really heavy duty and very nice build quality. It weighs in at 137 grams with the battery. Now, comparing it with the GoPro Hero 7 side by side very similar in size and thickness as well now the GoPro Hero 7 weighs in at 118 grams now here's the Acaso V50 Pro which I have done a review on very recently here's the side by side the V5 Volt Pro is a lot smaller. Now the Acastle V5 Volt Pro weighs in at just 82 grams. Okay, 4K at 30.
Okay, here is 1080p at 60 and electronic image stabilization turned on. A light jogging. turned off. Here's both of them simultaneously, 4K at 30. Um, GoPro's got super view, and the A Castle's got 170 degrees. Electronic image stabilization, both turned on. All right guys, so here we are inside of the garage where it's nice and quiet. There is absolutely no breeze and we're gonna be testing out the audio. Now, while the Brave 7 is inside of its carry case, as you can see, there's a little hole on the top of the clasp that goes straight down to where the microphone is on the camera. And there's another hole on the right side and that is another microphone on the camera. Those are the only two microphones that are available on the Brave 7. So let's go ahead and do an audio test with the case on. So testing, testing one, two. Testing, testing one, two, three. This is an audio test of the Brave 7 with the case attached. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove the case. All right, so by removing the case, you can now clearly see the microphone on the top and the other microphone on the side. So let's do an audio test without the case on. Testing, testing, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is an audio test without the case on the Brave 7. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is attach the external microphone. The external microphone is also available to purchase. It does not come with the Brave 7. You have to purchase this separately. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach it here. I don't know if I'm supposed to have turned the camera off, but well, too late, I've done it anyway, and it looks like this. So there's a little clip. You can clip it onto your shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and clip it on my collar, on my T-shirt. So let's go ahead and check out the audio with the external microphone on. Testing, testing, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is an audio test of the Brave 7 with the external microphone on. So as you can see, the case does not make any difference and the audio quality is very poor. But with the external mic in a non-windy condition, it does help out a lot. So you definitely need the external mic for the Brave 7 camera. So here's a flight video with the Brave 7 mounted on the iFlight Green Hornet Cinehoop at the playground. Now the color representation is very close to the natural colors. And the field of view is set to the maximum angle, which is 170 degrees. 4K at 30 frames per second, 
and the electronic image stabilization is turned on. And here is the audio turned down to the lowest in post edit. Yeah, it definitely needs better audio for sure. And there's also some jello and some vibration on the video as well. Now here's the GoPro Hero 7 mounted on the same drone, the iFlight Green Hornet Cinehoop. It is set to Super View 4K at 30 frames per second. Now the GoPro does have more saturation, but the field of view is so much larger. Now here is the audio from the GoPro at the lowest in post edit. So much better audio than the Brave 7. And it has less vibrations and jello as well. So that'll do it for this video of the A Castle Brave 7. Now, if you want to check it out for yourself, the link is provided down below. So once again, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you again next time.